Good evening. Today is Tuesday in Holy Week. It is the commemoration of John Baptiste de La Salle Presbyter. Our evening prayer begins on page 608. O God, come to our assistance. O Lord, make haste to help us. Be present with us, Lord, for it is evening. The day which you have given us is nearly complete. Be our light and scatter the darkness from our midst. Hear us as we lift to you our evening prayer and praise. The day is now past and the evening is at hand. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Lord of all, our breath and our being come from you, yet our earthly end is dust. As you loose the bounds and feed the hungry from the truth of your word, so bring us in your mercy through the grave and gate of death to the feast of eternal life, where you reign forevermore. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, be present now, our hearts in true devotion bow. Your spirit send with grace divine, and let your truth within us shine. Unseal our lips to sing your praise, our souls to you in worship raise. Make strong our faith, increase our light, that we may know your name aright. Until we join the host that cry, Holy are you, O Lord Most High, and in the light of that blessed place forever behold you face to face. Glory to God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one. To you, O blessed Trinity, we praise throughout eternity. Praise the Lord. Let all that I am praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God with my dying breath. Don't put your confidence in powerful people. There is no help for you there. When they breathe their last, they return to the earth, and all their plans die with them. But joy for those who have the God of Israel as their helper, whose hope is in the Lord their God. He made heaven and earth, the sea, and everything in them. He keeps every promise forever. He gives justice to the oppressed and food to the hungry. The Lord frees the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are weighed down. The Lord loves the godly. The Lord protects the foreigner among us. He cares for the orphan and widow, but he frustrates the plans of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever. He will be your God, O Jerusalem, throughout the generations. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening comes from the first letter of Peter. And now a word to you who are elders in the church. I too am an elder and a witness to the suffering of Christ, and I too will share in his glory when he is revealed to the whole world. As a fellow elder I appeal to you, care for the flock that God has entrusted to you. Watch over it, for the flock that watch over it willingly, not grudgingly, not for what you will get out of it, but because you are eager to serve God. Don't lord it over people assigned to your care, but lead them by your own example. And when the great shepherd appears, you will receive a crown of never-ending glory and honor. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. God decided in advance to adopt us into his own family by bringing us to himself through Jesus Christ. Such was his will, and it gave him great pleasure. So we praise God for the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed, and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom and understanding fully to fully understand the mystery, the plan he has he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time to bring all things into one, into one in him, in the heaven and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the evening we call to you, O Lord, be merciful, and hear our prayer. Throughout the ages you have brightened your church through distinguished leaders and holy men and women. Let us always rejoice in the splendor of the truth they taught. You forgave the sins of your people 
when holy leaders like Moses sought your compassion, through their intercession, continue to purify and sanctify your holy people. In the midst of their brothers and sisters, you anointed your holy ones and filled them with the Holy Spirit. Fill all those who preach and teach among your people with the same Spirit. You yourself are the hope and strength of our holy teachers and pastors. Let none of them, one at the price of your blood, remain far from you. The shepherds of the church, keep your flock from being snatched out of your hand. Through them you give your flock eternal life. Save those who have died, those from whom you gave up your life. Father of mercy and your beloved Son, you show forth your desire to bind up what is broken and heal what is sick. In your compassion, we beseech you on behalf of all those who work in these critical days in our health care system. May wisdom guide leaders' decisions in equal measure with, pr with prudence. May frontline staff be blessed with courage and stamina. And may those who support the medical teams be inflamed with a new sense of purpose as they engage in their profession. Together may our health care institutions care for our communities in these days so that we may maintain health, address pain and suffering, and maintain the dignity and worth of every human being, even when challenging choices must be made. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the great physician, our Lord. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil father of loving provision through the life and witness of john baptist de la salle you enlighten your faithful people you made him a pastor of the church to feed your sheep with his word and to teach them by his example. Help us to keep the faith that he taught and to follow the way of life he modeled. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And to your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for it is you who will redeem me, O Lord, my God. Now, O Lord, dismiss your servants in peace, for your word has been fulfilled. Our eyes have seen the salvation you have displayed in the sight of all the people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always, and with our loved ones, both near and far away. May God grant us a quiet night and a peaceful death. May souls of the faithful departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen.